A cargo ship carrying 4,200 vehicles that capsized off Brunswick, Georgia after a fire was reported on Sunday. 20 crew members have been rescued so far from the ship, which is managed by South Korean firm Hyundai Glovis. The U.S. Coast Guard is still searching for the remaining four South Korean crew members. Now, we have our Hong Yu on the line to give us the latest details of this. Now, so you, uh, we are hearing that some of the crew members of this ship are still in the process of being rescued by the U.S. Coast Guard. What do we know so far? Well, Kanyang, there were 24 people on the Golden Ray car carrier, which tilted on its left side at around 2 a.m. on Sunday local time. Eight U.S. Coast Guard units were dispatched, and they were able to rescue 20 of the crew members within 10 hours of the accident being reported. The other four crew members are still unaccounted for. South Korea's foreign ministry has announced that the missing four are South Koreans. The 20 rescued consist of six South Koreans, 13 Filipinos, and one U.S. vessel pilot. Rescue efforts have stopped for now as conditions are too risky, according to Coast Guard Charleston Sector Commander Captain John Reed. Once the vessel is stabilized, officials will try to get inside the vessel to locate the four missing crew members. It is still unclear what had caused the ship to tilt over, and the investigation into the incident is ongoing. Golden Ray departed from the Port of Brunswick at around 1.40 a.m. on Sunday and was heading to the Port of Baltimore when it began listing heavily off the coast of Georgia. The vessel is currently 1.6 kilometers away from the Port of Brunswick in seawater that is just 11 meters deep. It was carrying around 4,000 cars, and as of Sunday afternoon, no active release of pollution has been observed from the vessel. So you uh, tell me, um, so the South Korean firm Hyundai Glovis and the uh, South Korean government, how are they uh, responding to this incident? What are their first response to this? Well, South Korea's foreign ministry says it has sent its consulate general of Atlanta to the site of the incident to team up with related ministries, including the Ministry of Oceans and Fisheries, to respond to the incident. And the South Korean firm Hyundai Glovis, which manages the ship, responded by making a countermeasure team of corporate officials in the U.S. to find out more on the situation. This team was dispatched last night to the scene of the incident to inform executive members at the firm's headquarters in Seoul. Hyundai Glovis says it will prioritize providing aid for efforts to rescue the remaining crew members. And to do so, they have assigned staff members who are familiar with the ship. I will give you the latest on the progress of the rescue operation in our later newscast, Kanyang.